<clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome to un uh, your next C Sharp XNA platformer tutorial. <laughs> Sorry. So in the tutorial we're gonna be adding in some collision, right? And we're gonna be adding in some entity collision. So whether you wanna have multiple players and have players collide with each other or if you're doing a split screen game, yeah, you want the players collide uh, to collide, whether you're doing a network game, whether whatever, or if you want the enemy to collide with the player, how you're going to handle collision, uh, stuff like that. Well, um, this is how you're going to do it. And, and by the end of this tutorial, I'm going to handle it a certain way, but it's up to you on how you want to handle it. It's up to you if you want to handle it that when you jump on the enemy, the enemy dies. Or um, if you touch it like on its side, then you lose uh, health or you lose damage. It's really up to you how you want to handle it. Uh, I'm just going to show you uh, a method of doing it. So uh, what we're going to do is go to the entitymanager.cs. And uh, uh, we'll say, we'll call this entity collision. And what we're going to take is a uh, uh, entity right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, two for each statement. So um, we're going to say entity E in um, and entities. And uh, entity uh, for each. So it's going to be a nested for each. Uh, I don't know, we could call this capital E2. So we'll say uh, E2 and E2. And we're going to say if E dot rect dot um, intersects with E, E2, sorry, then there is a collision. And what we're going to do is we're going to call E dot on collision. And we never have we never made a method for that yet. Uh hold on. Forgot uh it should be in E2 dot entities. Oh, it should be entity manager. That's why. So entity manager will say E2 dot entities. And so if e rect dot e dot rect. So if that happens, so if they intersect, then we're going to uh, call a function call on collision. So in our entity.cs, let's make a virtual function, uh, virtual void on collision. And it's going to take an entity and we'll call this E. Okay, so we're going to go to a player class and we're going to override this method. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, first of all, we want to figure out, uh, we want to figure out what, what type of, uh, what type of collision it is, right? Are we colliding with a player? Are we colliding with an enemy? Are we colliding with a different type of, of entity, right? We want to figure out uh, what we're colliding with. So how we figure that out? Well, it's not too trivial. What we're going to do is we're going to say type and we'll say type is equal to E dot get type. And the to get the so we're we're gonna get that type, and now we're gonna say that <coughs> um if so what this is gonna do is that uh it's gonna get the type of our entity, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if type is equal to type of enemy, then we do something right. So in this case, uh, if you want to decrease the health. If you want to uh, do whatever you want to do, then you can do this. So how is this going to look in our gameplay screen? So what we're going to do, 
Oh, first of all, we gotta go to our enemy manager and pass in. So if there is, if it does intersect, then what we're gonna do is pass in our E2 right there. So how this is gonna look in the gameplay screen is we're gonna call, make a call to our update, <coughs> and we're gonna say player dot entity collision. And what we're trying to collide, what we're trying to check for is our enemies. So that's our entity manager that we pass in. So this is gonna check for collision with our entities and so on and so forth, right? Now just to test to see if this actually works, what we're gonna do is go to our animation uh, .cs and let's make uh, a color up here and let's call it draw color, okay? And we're gonna make a property called color and we'll say draw color and we'll just have a set property to set draw color to whatever value we want to be okay so we got that and uh, by default we'll set draw color equal to white and what we're gonna do is right here we're gonna say draw color okay so what we're gonna do is on our collision we're gonna say that um, our animation our move animation dot draw color is equal to new color or we'll say color dot red right and uh, Right, so that's what's gonna happen if uh, um, if there is actually a collision, and we're gonna state in our update, the top of our update, that our draw color, so move animation dot draw color, is equal to color dot white. The reason why we do this is that uh, this on collision method only gets called if there actually is a collision, right? So. Uh, uh, if there if we collide right it's gonna set the draw color to red and we will have no way to set it back to normal if we're not colliding so yeah so this will set the correct color so let's run this and let's see if it works correctly so if it touches it it should turn red and when we're not touching it it should turn a regular color so that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate, subscribe and and bye